Hey, good morning. Yes, let's take a look at some news going on since I haven't done that for a few days because there's a lot that's going on and so much so that I'm going to call this the lucky 13 day. Yeah, you'll see why in just a second. Well, even right off the bat here in Finland, they're saying 103 children were killed according to who? Ah, CNN. There's your first number, 13. I'm just saying, and he's looking really mad right there. And looks like he'd even changed his shirt. Huh, wonder what that emblem right there is. You guys can try and take a look for me as well, but it looks like a number one in the middle and an M. I don't know, I'm just saying, it's very interesting. And then they show this picture here. Ah, the A-E-T-N. And there's the sun symbolism there as well. You know, six rays. Wow. Um, so AETN, look at that. It equals 13. There's your second number 13. I'm just saying. I'm just looking. And this I found interesting. You know how they've shown us the tanks rolling in and how they have a Z? Well, I happen to be scrolling in a site looking for some meaning, and I came across this. And it was called the 24-inch gauge interesting just interesting i'm saying but yeah here's your next lucky number 13 the helsinki public transport use nearing pre uh sea levels sorry i was going so fast i didn't notice i had that c letter word in there had to take it out but yeah it's ramping up those fuel prices right so they're going to be doing what raising ticket prices as well so there is your next Number 13, once again, the three and the one. They could have chose any trans, any kind of street cars, but those are the ones they chose, right, for this picture. And then they share that the Finnish-Swedish interior ministers are meeting in Helsinki to discuss cooperation. Why? Because there have been many threats to address here. And look at the picture they show. Yeah, I know, I've seen this picture. I've stood there at the site and not realize exactly what I was standing in. Now when I'm looking at it from afar, I clearly see the black and the white. It kind of looks like an eye. And then when I, like I said, I went into this one site and it was so clear as day what this represented. And it's this right here. It's the checkerboard, their own checkerboard style. I mean, just look, that's exactly what it looks like, just in a slightly different way, but just unbelievable. That's all I'm saying. And well, let's get into the ABC News. I went into there real quick today and noticed that they had uh, kidnapped a Ukrainian mayor, but they freed him. Hmm. Special operations officials said this, and it. look at that. What day did this all occur on? Oh, 11th of March. However you want to put it, 311 or 113, very interesting, just saying. And of course, I was supposed to mention this the other day, and I just forgot with everything that's been going on. Yeah, we know that Haley Bieber had a um, near death experience. No, no, a stroke like symptoms last week. Huh. Stroke like symptoms. Um, hmm. I'm just wondering what could that have come from? No, I can't even write or leave the word right there or anything but yeah we know we know what it came from i'm just saying and but they still keep going like i said it's like the energizer buddy bunny because they're mentioning another variant the ba2 wow i wasn't i thought that one had disappeared because they hadn't given it a full name yet but ah uh, anyway there's going to be several whether they give them names or not i don't know but it's just going to keep going and going uh, and I hope you know that once you take the first, you're going to have to keep up because they're just going to keep putting things in front of you. But I just wonder what's going to be the next name and um, what kind of things are they going to be giving out or will they have to because so many have already fallen uh, for the trick. But anyway, I can't say too much here. So a few other things in CNN headlines I just wanted to share right there. There was an earthquake, yeah. Disney employees were staging a walkout because of the don't say thing. And Tokyo schools dropped controversial dress code. Notice that the lawsuit, um, the person who started this lawsuit against um, the school or the district, whatever, because of all this, 
due to hair loss and other things, she won. And how much did she win? $330,000. Oh, three. 33. Wow. Very interesting. This one just takes the cake. The last two things I have to say. They're talking about, yeah, the Eiffel Tower. Wow. They worked on it. And now what happened? It's 20 feet taller. Oh, that's six meters. They had to throw that in there. Of course. Yes, yes. And um, it measures now at 330 meters. Ah, it's three. It used to be 324, but now it's 330. And what? Over the 130 year lifetime of the Eiffel Tower, it has always been yeah, well, you can watch the video, but that's enough for me because you can already see how much they love those numbers and they're going to put them everywhere and in everything they built because they are the builders. But the white rabbit, oh, this is the last and final story. I couldn't leave this out when I saw this in the CNN. How Shanghai white rabbit candy became a globally beloved brand. White rabbit. Now take a look at that rabbit, uh, wrapping, excuse me, and I don't know. I have a lot of things that I'm thinking of when looking at that wrapping. <sighs> Honestly, okay, I'll try to find my mouse here. This looks like the head, the hands, and these are the feet. That's my thing. Or then it could be that it is the horns and this is the animal head. I Look, <sighs> just a lot of things I see in this and even them bringing up ice cream, that they're into this ice cream. It was just so bizarre to see everything in here. Honestly, I'm trying to look at how many even rabbits there are there. Uh, I'm sure there's plenty. But a anyway, we know about the white rabbits, right? Uh, yeah, no, we don't. No, not haven't heard of it. They've been trying to talk about this for a long time. There's just a few to give examples of where you've seen the white rabbit. But a lot of interesting things, yes, in the red, blue, and the white. First of all, the white and the, the W and the R. Notice how there's three separate sections for them. You know what I'm saying? Like on the letter, this is one, two, and three. And here is one, two, and three. Kind of looks like a three and three. Just saying. But you can look at many other things. A lot of... I can't even mention what this all means because I'll have this taken down. But again, the W and the R, there you go. It also equals the lucky number 13. <laughs> they love their numbers and symbols and just so much more. You guys know this. I don't have to say more. That's how they communicate with each other. That's how they talk. That's the only way they know how to do things. And they have to do it. They have to. Anyway, there's so much more. I'll add links later on today because I'll be trying to get to one other video before I step out of the house. So if I don't have time to upload them right away, I'll have them in there later on. God bless you guys. Take care. Have a great day.